Hey, what's going on everybody? Cartez Roth with EscapeToMedigine.com. I know it's been a while since my last video and I promise moving forward, you're gonna get more regular updates, but I got a good explanation as to why. Um, I decided to take the time to really get out and explore the city, explore, explore the city. Um, that way, when I talk about Medellin and share input and advice, um, I can more accurately give you a better uh, understanding and, and, and viewpoint of what it's like to live here. Um, and I'll say this, and I've said this before, the quality of life that you get here is just phenomenal. Um, for example, we had my, my eight-year-old um, just had this persistent nagging cough that just didn't seem like it would go away. So today we called um, and, and found a local doctor, spoke English. Um, she came by the house. And, that, and I can say every day I just continue to get blown away by these little new discoveries that I, I come across that just make life so much better. Instead of me dragging her out, me trying to rush to get dressed and fight traffic and all of that, they come to you. And, you know, she was an American, I mean, an English speaking doctor. So typically when you get an English speaking person, you pay a little more. 50 bucks is what it costs for her to come to my house, give her a full workup, check the temperature, check the ears, check the throat, check the eyes, check the nose, weighed her, put a, created a profile in the computer. So now we have a medical record, a medical file, and we have a phone number. Hey, Car Cartes, anything go down or anything go wrong and she's not feeling well, text me and I will get back to you immediately. I mean, what kind of personalized care? Where can you get that? House calls, you know, $50. Um, she gave me a workup. I'm still fighting and dealing with this blood pressure. I haven't been able to get that gone yet. Um, but I brought her my medication. She looked at it and said, oh, no, 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 no. We going to get you off of all of this medicine. Um, got a little bad toes. Got some fungus in my toes. She, you know, I, the doctor in the United States wanted to give me some medicine to kick, get it cleared up. You know, she's like, I told her, I said, I, I don't want to take any more medicine. That's why I didn't take it. But she was like, no, nah, treat this with collodial silver. And, um, and, and so and she's like, you can clear that up. So she's all about nutrition she doesn't like to prescribe medication for everything to treat stuff she likes to start with health and nutrition first so that's a huge plus you know so again quality of life man um it, it just continues to baffle my mind um also before i forget um check out the new website escape the medicine.com that's www.escape the medicine.com uh go there subscribe um, from moving forward, I will post all updates there. So if you want to keep abreast of what's happening here in Medellin, if you want to get insider tricks or tips on moving here and how to plan and be prepared once you land here, subscribe to that blog. I've pretty much assembled a pretty um, elaborate team of professionals. I got two lawyers, I got real estate professionals, I got local Colombians, local expats that have been here for years. You know, so for example, the attorney, one of the attorneys is an immigration, specializing in immigration. So in regards to helping you get visas, um, which visa to apply for, maybe you're retiring, uh, maybe you have money, making good income, there's another type of visa you can apply for, maybe you wanna come here and start a business. He's gonna share a lot of information on the various types of visas and how you can apply. And if you need help getting that, he can work with you on that. The other attorney, um, she's a real estate, um, practices pretty much specializing in real estate law. So if you're looking to invest in property in Medellin, she's gonna provide a lot of content and resources and information on how to do that. Maybe you're looking to buy real estate to live in um, in Colombia. Again, she's the person. Um, hooked up with a bunch of expats who's been here for a while. Um, they can give their perspective um, on and provide feedback on how to best prepare uh, before arriving, things you should be look out for, things you need to be concerned about, um, security, lots of information, lots of stuff to share. Uh, not Just not too long ago, just the other day, um, me and a local Colombian who's from here, a native, uh, Paisa, 
Um, we went out to all the various neighborhoods, took a lot of photographs, a lot of videos, um, looked at the pros. She talked about the pros and the cons of living in this city versus that city or this neighborhood versus that neighborhood, all of that stuff. Um, I'm putting all that stuff into a newsletter. So again, get on over there, subscribe, escape the Medellin.com because literally by moving here, you can upgrade your quality of life um, just by being here. Same money you got. In fact, most of the expats that I spoke with, the primary reason they came was because they couldn't afford to live in America on the income that they had. So they were depending on family members to take care of them. They didn't want to do that. They moved here and their quality of life improved. And I'm not saying just a little bit. I'm talking drastic. My life, quality of life has drastically improved. I'm not having to work as much because I don't have to make as much money. Um, I have time. I've homeschooled the kids because of the much freedom I have, free time I have. And I don't know how much battery time I have left, left so this video might shut off on me. But I've gotten a new hobby. I bought my first pair of binoculars and I'm able to look and my wife think I got them to look at the ladies passing by. Now, that wasn't the motivation. Now, on the other hand, occasionally a nice Colombian lady will pass by through my binoculars and I enjoy the moment, you know, but I really like looking at people looking at the buildings, looking at the trees, looking at the birds. They have a lot of colorful birds here. And I really didn't get bird watching, but now I get it because there's a few birds that land on the tree and I'm able to zoom in and look. But the thing about binoculars is once you get to a certain distance and you're like, wow, I can see that far, you wanna go further or farther. So I ended up buying these binoculars and it took me further. Kids enjoy looking out of these things, looking at the construction workers, watching them build on the buildings and looking at the airplanes fly by. Um, it's amazing what you can see with a set of binoculars. But as you know, Medellin is in the valley, so we're surrounded by mountains. I wanted to go further and see people in the mountains. So this didn't do it. So I went one more step up and this almost got me to the mountains. Now, again, I got addicted to this. I probably spent a couple of hours a day looking out my binoculars. So this almost got me to the mountain. So I had to go one step further and then I bought what is called a, a spotting scope. And so now this got me to the mountains, but I really couldn't see what was going on in the mountains. So I had to go one more step. Now this bad boy got me to the mountains. I could see what you're doing in the mountains. I can see horses on the mountain. I can see cows in the mountain. I can see dogs running in the mountains. I can see what color shirt you got on in the mountain. And, but I'm about to go one more step because now when I get in the mountains, I want to see the color of your eyes. And so I got one more purchase to make and I'm going to get up in the mountains, you know, but I bring all this up because this is a, ho a new hobby that I really enjoy. And I'm learning more and more about scopes. And I can do that now because I have more time and freedom. I'm not having to work 60, 80 hours in the business. And when you get time and freedom, the quality of your life improves. You know, so that's what this is all about. Quality of life. Upgrade your, don't, the only regret that I have now is that I didn't do this 10 years earlier or even 15 years earlier, I just didn't know. Now I know. There are other countries that you can go to where the quality of life is just as good or even better. And moving forward, we're gonna hop around to different countries, probably Bangkok next, just to go check it out. Live there for about six months, check it out. And um, I'm gonna research and identify the best, 10 best places to live where you can upgrade the quality of your life. And I'm gonna write about it. I'm gonna report on it, you know, because you don't have to live that way. I mean, just the labs, the lab works. I gotta go back, I gotta go to the doctor, I mean, go to the laboratory on Tuesday and get labs done for the, the lab that the doctor wrote up. Five bucks, $7 for lab work. This is crazy. You know, so 
I'm gonna make it my mission to identify these places that people can go live and start over and reinvent your life. You don't have to wait until you're 70, 80 years old. You don't have to wait till you retire. If you can get about $1,500 a month of income coming in through some type of business, you can live a very quality life. And $1,500 a month, US dollars in Medellin gets you a long way. Subscribe to my blog. Subscribe to my newsletter, escapedemedellin.com. I'm going to break all this stuff down and show you how you can live a quality life for $1,500. And that's for a family. I'm talking about a family of four. So if you come in solo, you can probably get by very well on a thousand. Our next stop most likely will be uh, Bangkok. We do plan on buying a place here. I've narrowed down my choices. We looked around and checked out these different cities. Envigado most likely is at the top of my list, number one, followed by Laurelis. Laurelis. dog on Oz, boy. Laurelis. There you go, La Reles, La Uleres, something like that. It, it, it gonna be one of them two places that I'm gonna buy. Come over here and say it, Charles. Hey, you, uh, oh, they can't hear you, come over here. But La, Re, La, La Ureles, and it gonna be one of them two places that we gonna buy because I plan to make Medellin home. But I am gonna go check out other places just because I'm gonna write about it because I want people to know that you don't have to live and struggle and and be burdened to to a job. A fifteen hundred dollars, that's the magic number. Just focus on the fifteen hundred. What can I do to earn fifteen hundred dollars a month? And that right there will buy your freedom. I promise you. So escape the medellin.com. I'll be making more frequent updates there. I'm going to try and journal and document every single thing that we got going on in our life as it relates to Medellin. Looking at putting the kids in private school come up in January. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. My name is Cartier Ross. Have a wonderful and blessed day.